Kentucky is one of the hardest hit areas in the entire country when it comes to the opioid crisis. So many here are now wondering what the next steps in the fight against addiction are going to be after the president declared the opioid epidemic a public health emergency. ABC 36's Kelsey Thorne looked into that. In the wake of President Trump's signing of an order declaring the opioid crisis a public health emergency, those on the front lines of this epidemic are curious to see how the president's announcement will help in the fight. I'm hoping that the short-term um, benefits will be that um, it'll reduce stigma um, about this issue, that perhaps it will encourage more people to seek help. The president's order will direct federal agencies to give more grant money to fight the crisis, but stop short of declaring it a national emergency. Which does not um, allow him to use emergency funding from the federal government that is at his power to be able to address the problem like he would if there was an emergency declaration for a hurricane or some kind of natural disaster, or that kind of thing. Still, health officials say they are hopeful. The president's announcement will be a big step forward in reminding people of the severity of this epidemic. Unfortunately, in 2016, 115 Fayette Countyans died of drug overdoses, and 40% of those involved heroin. Um, so we still have a long way to go, but this is a good, another step in our progression to, for some solutions to this problem. For a list of opioid addiction and treatment resources, head to our website, WTBQ.com. Reporting in Lexington, Kelsey Thorid, ABC 36 News.